Welcome to episode 11 of the Woodwind Doubling Channel. Today it's my personal clarinet setup. Uh, this is a clarinet I've been using over the past several years. I started uh, using it because of the weather conditions that I was uh, experiencing as a cruise ship musician. This is a Ridenauer uh, RCP 576 or Lyrique uh, B flat clarinet. It's constructed from hard rubber, the whole body, body, bell, uh, the barrels, everything hard rubber. Of course, we're used to hard rubber as a mouthpiece material, but it also makes an excellent body material for clarinets because of its dimensional stability. It's not going to crack on you when you're going from uh, air-conditioned depths of a ship up into the uh, hot and steamy decks to play uh, Dixieland sets, things like that. I really don't have to worry about this instrument. I swab it out to make sure that the pads don't get damp and prolong their life, but other than that, I don't have to worry at all about it cracking. Mouthpiece setup on this instrument is a Walter Grabner K13 Star. Uh, excellent playing mouthpiece. Uh, I was using it with a Van Dorn V12 three and a halfs for a while, and then I made the switch over to using a Legere Signatures on it. This is a Legere Signature uh, three and a quarter on it right now. Actually, it's the Eurocut uh, Signature three and a quarter. Um, fantastic reed. A little wider than uh, than you would expect. It's more like a soprano saxophone reed. It's got a very distinct spine, but response and uh, tone color is wonderful on it. Now I'll show you a couple of inset photos here to, uh, to so you can see some special uh, details on this particular clarinet. The register key is actually uh, shaped more like a saxophone register key. It looks almost like a, a, an asymmetrical fishtail, uh, and it means it's much easier to get your thumb onto it and uh, not get caught up on it rather than the traditional teardrop style uh, register key. The other neat feature about this one is the adjustable thumb rest and it's got quite an am amount of adjustment in it so very practical in getting your hand position such that you don't get uh, too much strain on it. I actually tend to like mine fairly far up so that my thumb is just about behind my index finger. This avoids problems with overextension of the thumb and fingers and things like that and makes uh, your playing time a lot more comfortable. A part of the whole mouthpiece setup as well is the uh, Rovner ligature. I find that I really like those best of all with uh, the Legere reeds. A nice even pressure and they're not going to slip around. Legere's can have a bit of a tendency to slip if you use them with, uh, with, mouth with ligatures that don't firmly grip it. If you like a light kind of ligature setting, it can be a little bit tricky to get everything positioned nicely on it. So that's my uh, clarinet setup for pretty much everything. I play this with the Orange Devils Big Band. I play this for theater. I'll play the same instrument for uh, orchestral jobs uh, when I do my rare orchestral playing these days. And it's been a superb performer throughout. So there you go. There's my clarinet setup. Episode 11 of uh, Woodwind Doubling Channel all done and uh, hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe to the channel so you get uh, all the content as I bring it to you. Thanks very much for watching.